Good afternoon children. Welcome back to our online session. Let's today start with our English grammar session standard 1. Before we start to our topic, now just look at this picture. Now see in this picture, what do you see? Yes, there is a box, table and ball. But in every picture, the ball position is same? No. Let's see. Now see, in the first picture, where is the ball? A ball is inside the box. In the second picture, you see, where is the ball? A ball is on the table. In the third picture, you see, where is the ball? A ball is inside the table. And in the fourth picture, you see, where is the ball? A ball is near the box. So see, in all this four picture, ball is a common. But their position is same? No, their position is different. So, where do we find the ball? We find the ball in different different positions. In, on, under and near. So, let's learn our today's topic. That name is, where do we find them? What is our today's topic name? Where do we find them? So, here are some words that show us where do we find things or people. Which are these words? In, on, under and near. These are the four words that tell us where do we find things or people. They help us to find out things or people. Where do we find them? Let's start. Now see again in this picture, in the first picture, where is the ball? A ball is in the box. Where is the ball? A ball is inside the box? Yes. So, word in shows a exactly position of the ball. Now, see the number. Second picture. Where is the ball? Where is the ball? A ball is near the box. So, the word near tells us the exactly position of the ball. Which word shows us? Yes, the word near. Because a ball is near the box. Now see in the third picture. Where is the ball? Where do we find the ball? Yes. Where is the ball? A ball is on the table? No. It is in the table? No. It is near the table? No. So where is the ball? A ball is under the table. So the word under shows us Exactly position of the ball. Now see the next. Where is the ball? Here. In this picture, the ball is on the box. So where is the ball in this picture? The ball is on the box. So the word on shows us exactly position of the ball. Let's understand this by some more example. Now tell me what are you saying in this picture? Yes. This is a nest. And what is inside the nest? They are the eggs. Now we'll read this sentence. The eggs are in the nest. Now see, where are the eggs? The eggs are in the nest. Now see, the word which I underlined, I am in. The word in shows us exactly position of the eggs. So where are the eggs? The eggs are in the nest. The eggs are in the nest. So, the word in shows us exactly position of the eggs. Now, we'll see the next example. Now, see. What have you seen in this picture? Yeah, there is a basket and apples are there. Okay. Now, read this sentence. The apples are in the basket. Where are the apples? The apples are in the basket. So, the word in word which I underlined, I am in, shows us exactly position of the apples. So, where are the apples? The apples are in the basket. So, here the word which I underlined, I am in, shows us exactly position of the apples. Now, we'll see the next example. Now, see. What are you seeing in this picture? The cat is Cat is here? Yes. And where is she? Where is the cat? A cat is under. 
under the chair. So, read this one. The cat is under the chair. Where is the cat? Can you see? Where? So, the cat is under the chair. So, the word under shows the exactly position of the cat. Now, see the next example. Now, see. In this picture also, what do you see? Yes, there is a dog at the table. But what the dog is doing? The dog is sleeping. But where is sleeping? The dog is sleeping under the table. Where the dog is sleeping? The dog is sleeping under the table. The word under shows the exact position of the dog. So understood here. The dog is sleeping under the table. The word under shows us the exact position of the dog. Now see in this picture what this boy is doing. The boy is sitting under the tree and reading a book. But where he sit? He sit under the tree. Yes. So you see this sentence. The boy is sitting under the tree. So the word under shows us the exact position of this Boy. So, the boy is sitting under the tree. The word under shows us the exact position of this boy. Now, see here. The books are near the bus. So, where are the books? The books are near the bus. And also, the bus and books are on the table. But here, the books are near the bus. So the word near tell us the exact position of the books. So the books are near the bus. So the word near shows us the exact position of the books. Now we'll see the next example. The pen is near the book. In this picture, you will see where is the pen? The pen is near the book. So the pen is near the book. The word which I underlined that is near. So the word near shows us exactly position of the pen. So where is the pen? The pen is near the book. So the word near shows us exactly position of the pen. Now see here. Again on this picture. The where is the word? The ball is on the table. Where is the ball? The ball is on the table. It is not under the table, not near the table. So where is the ball? The ball is on the table. So the word on shows us exactly position of the ball. Now we'll see the next example. Now see. What do you see? Yes, there is a table and a food basket. Now to read the sentence, the fruit basket is on the table. So, where is the fruit basket? Is under the table? No. It is near the table? No. The fruit basket is on the table. It is on the table. So, the word on shows us exactly position of the fruit basket. Understood? Now, see, in this picture, what do you see? Yes, there is a tree and there is a monkey. So, the monkey is sitting on the tree. <coughs> so, the word on, O and on, shows us exactly position of this monkey. So, that monkey is said? Yes, the monkey is sitting on the tree. So, where the monkey sit? The monkey is sitting on the tree. So, the word on shows us exactly position of the monkey. So, we have learned in, on, under and near. So, these four words are helpful to tell us exactly position of the things or the people. So, after this, we are going to start a new topic. That is, workers and the tools. Now, all workers use something to work with. The things they work with are known as tools. What is the tools? The workers 
which with which they are work they are called as the tools and each tool has a name so now we will learn about some workers and about their tools now see what are we saying in the first picture you see a teacher yes so which tool she used to teach you yes what the teacher do first the teacher teach you so she used blackboard and chalk so these are two tools teacher used and which help to the teacher to teach you now we'll see the next example now we'll see in this uh, in this picture what do you see yes he is a tailor now tell me which tool he used yes he used needle and thread to stitch his our clothes so a tailor used which tool needle and thread by using of this tool they stitch his clothes for us now see in the next picture what do you see yes he is a doctor he is a doctor now do you know what the doctor do doctor treats the patients so which tool doctors used syringe which tool doctor used yes syringe so syringe is a tool used by doctor to treat the patients so doctor used which tool syringe and he also gives us some medicines now see in the next picture what do you see who is he yes he is a sweeper what does the sweeper do sweeper sweeps the road it cleans the road now tell me who has done in this work yes which tool he used he used broom so sweeper used broom tool to do his work so sweeper sweeps the road with the use of a broom so now see in the next picture he is an artist yes what do you do he draws picture and paint them so which tool he used yes he used paint brush to color his picture so artist so an artist used which tool paint brush understood now see in the next picture what do you see you see a farmer a farmer grow crops in the field vegetables and etc and that will come to us so this tool he used yes he used plow so farmer used which tool plow now see in this picture what do you will see he is a carpenter what do you do with the use of a wood and a saw so which tool he used saw he makes tables for us cupboard for us so many things so carpenter used which tool carpenter used saw which tool he used he used saw so i hope you must have understood both the lessons so thank you be safe stay at home take care